the dark path begins. Ah. Oh. I haven't driven it yet. I went with him to buy a little girl named Kara, and the Lucas he spoke of was a teacher in a kindergarten. Although he just divorced a while ago, but a good person who loves life and is full of love. He takes good care of the children. Everyone in the town likes him very much. But why did this little girl say such things? On this day Lucas was shopping at the supermarket and preparing to go home. Coincidentally, I met Kara, who was alone. After learning that he was lost, he took Kara home. Kara's father Theo was a longtime friend of Lucas. The relationship is very close, no matter what. Not for me, but he's not worried about his lost daughter Carla's parents being very indifferent to him. He can only play games with himself. At this point, when his brother brought friends to play at home. But I showed him bad visuals. But I don't know that this indirectly led Lucas into the abyss. Early the next morning, Lucas met Kara sitting on the roadside again. His parents are arguing, I don't have time to send him to school. So Lucas decided to send him to Kara on his own, and he experienced the care his parents had never given him. But I mistakenly believe that, this is love. After arriving at kindergarten, he carefully crafted a loving gift. Seeing Lucas playing with other children, he laughed happily. But when Lucas lay down to rest, he ran over at once, kissed Lucas, and stuffed the gift into his pocket. Lucas then stopped Carla. He showed his childish and innocent affection towards girls. He can only politely refuse. But the stronger Carla lead and said, this gift is not from him. Carla's kindness was rejected. His heart instantly turned from love to hate. He decided to retaliate against Lucas. At night, all the children in the kindergarten have gone home. But Carla's parents haven't come to pick him up yet. When the principal discovered him, but he said he was dark. Lou Kiki. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. The principal suddenly realized something was wrong. The next day, he talked to Lucas alone. Tell him about yesterday's car incident. Faced with fabricated lies, how could Lucas possibly admit it? But the principal dare not make a hasty decision. He asked Lucas to get busy first, and then a psychologist was called in. Faced with a doctor's inquiry, Carla's answer is somewhat ambiguous. He realized that this matter was getting bigger and bigger. He's scared, can face constant questioning from doctors. Kara who is so strong still decides to continue lying. After the inquiry is completed, psychologists suggest getting the police involved in the investigation. But the principal chose to judge Lucas himself. At the parents' meeting, the principal is telling everyone seriously, pay more attention to whether your child is normal recently, because a teacher recently violated a child, and it may have violated more than one. He even called to tell Lucas' ex-wife, Lucas' beloved son cannot reunite with Lucas because of this matter. The next day, angry Lucas came to his door, but the principal hurriedly escaped. Lucas immediately chased up and questioned the principal. Why convict oneself before the dust settles? Warn the principal not to touch his family. And at this moment, the principal angrily accused Lucas of being a scumbag. He believes in children. Children are determined not to lie. And at this point, it was unintentionally revealed that it was Carla who told him. So Lucas found Theo. Clarified to him that he would never do such a thing. But Theo burst into tears. He still chooses to trust Carla, because children are not deceptive. At this moment, Carla's mother discovered that Lucas had arrived. Yell at him and leave quickly. Don't hurt their daughter anymore. At this point, Theo can no longer control his emotions. Get into a big fight with Lucas, speaking from that generation. Taste like this. At this point, Kara saw Lucas greeting him. After Lucas left, Kara told mom, Lucas actually didn't do anything. It's all my own nonsense. But my mom thinks it's Kara trying to escape reality, to find out the truth. The principal and they called Lucas' girlfriend. But my girlfriend firmly believes in Lucas. I know Kara came to my door. He wants to play with Lucas' dog. Lucas wants to prove his innocence in front of his girlfriend. But when he asked Kara, but Kara cried and said she didn't remember anything. Kara's actions made her girlfriend also start to suspect Lucas. Entrepreneurship used. Her is also used. Lucas, due to his girlfriend's distrust, angrily drove him away. Lucas' situation is getting worse and worse. But Kara is the opposite. Because of the lies he fabricated, his family began to care about him, think for him, play with him, and Lucas lost his job. Alone. Only dogs for companionship. But then his son Marcus arrived. He is worried about his father being lonely alone. Sneaked to meet him, watching my son grow a lot taller again. Lucas showed a long lost smile. Marcus knew that his father was a completely good person, feeling unfair about his experiences. But the next day, Lucas was taken away by the police. Marcus looked at his father, who had passed away. What do you think you should do? He came to Kara's house. I hope Kara admits her mistake. Kara doesn't want to lose the love of her family, insist on not lying. Hear this, Marcus is really angry, excited and cursed at Kara, and spat at him, so he suffered a severe beating from the adults. He doesn't have a price difference in June. Many. Do you see it? Okay, okay, Marcus, who had nowhere to go had to temporarily stay at his godfather's house. Godfather told him that Lucas' hearing is scheduled for tomorrow. No one can tell the outcome. The next day Lucas was released due to insufficient evidence. He thought he could start over here. 
But the fact is not what he thinks, after Lucas was released, but he didn't gain everyone's trust, although acquitted, but the grievances in the hearts of the people have long been deeply ingrained. When Lucas cooks at home, the window was smashed by stones, and his dog was brutally killed. Lucas doesn't want his son to be upset anymore, let him live in his mother's place. The next day when he went to the supermarket to sell meat, but was warned by the shop assistant to leave quickly, Lucas refuses to leave, just flipped to the ground with a punch from the shop assistant, then he was kicked out of the store door, he feels like he has the right to shop, so the shop assistants kept pounding him with iron cans, Lucas no longer wants to endure this inexplicable malice, he returned to the supermarket and decided to fight back, yes, finally won back my self-esteem, the store manager promised to give it to him, he checked out, on the way home, the West family saw the injured Lucas, but they are afraid of being discovered by Lucas, just dare to let him go first before leaving, and at this point, Theo couldn't bear to see his friend's embarrassed appearance, silently lowered his head, Christmas Eve, Lucas take care of his wounds, put on a formal outfit, prepare to attend tonight's prayer, after Lucas arrived at the church, everyone looks like a monster, look at him, no one even wants to do it with him, at this point, Lucas looked back at Western Australia, I hope he can see that he's not lying, guilty Theo didn't dare look him in the eye, false accusation of work and dismissal, dog killed, family leave, watching Cara Lucas sing the gospel song, he could no longer suppress his long, accumulated sadness and anger, he ran to Western Australia, hit him on the face with one punch and one punch, he made Theo look into his own eyes, ask him exactly what he saw, Lucas said he didn't see anything, everyone pulled the excited Lucas out of the church, when sleeping at night, Theo came to Carla and sobbed, he recalled how close he had been to Lucas before, but now things are different from people, but at this moment, Pella said she was just joking, Lucas didn't do anything to himself, Theo finally woke up, he brought beer and dinner to Lucas' lonely home, but the two of them didn't say too much, they won't be as good as before anymore, one year later, Marcus bar mitzvah may be a clarification from Western Australia, the crowd began to slowly accept Lucas, and then Lucas saw Kara again, he chose to forgive Kara, and carry him to Theo's side, but just as Lucas felt that things had come to an end, a gunshot woke up his dream again, the sunlight is so dazzling, he doesn't know who fired the gun, but he understands that there is no place for him here anymore.